Hey kids, welcome back. My name is Sunshine and I'm a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And I like to film my what sold videos and my uh, haul videos. And today I'm going to change it up a little. So these are items I've sourced over the last week, but I've split them up into the dollar pieces versus the full price or discounted pieces. So I think we're going to start with the dollar items. So everything in this bag only costs a dollar at various thrift stores. So I think we're just going to dive right in. And I see a pair of jeans on top and they are new with tags. So these are 7'7 seven, seven boot cut in a size 6. They are brand spanking new with tags. Medium wash, look like a little bit of a flare, maybe a straight leg. They have the embroidery on the back pockets. And yeah, I'll take those for a dollar. Thank you so much. Hopefully those will flip for, I don't know, 20, 25. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, and then, don't ask me why. Why? Don't even know what this is. I saw the little, um, I even forget what they're called. I saw her and thought, oh, for a dollar, I'm going to pick this up. So there's a bunch of little toys in there. And who knows, maybe one of them is like worth money. I don't know, have to look them up and see. But I like looking, you know, for a dollar you can't go wrong, so. Okay, the next item feels like linen. It is a Casey Coleman size medium. Yep, 100% linen and it's vintage. So it is like this rose colored uh, button front shirt long sleeves, but it has these, this cool bird embroidery all over it. I don't know what kind of bird that is. Does anybody know? Let me know in the comments because I don't know. At first I thought it was a parrot, but it's too small. It could be a red robin. I have no clue. But anyway, it's gorgeous condition for a vintage piece and perfect for the season. Okay, then we have another pair of jeans. And these are, I picked these up because I thought they might be something because all I saw was Q-Baby and I remember hearing about that, but I don't remember when or where. And now I can't even remember. <laughs> I looked these up too. And I can't even remember who they're by. Maybe Wrangler, I don't know. They're Q-Babies. So they have this nice stretchy waistband. They're a dark wash. They look like they're a low rise and they have embroidered and embellished pockets on the back. So even if they're only Wrangler, I mean, I'm going to pick these up for a dollar anyway. These might even be petite. So yeah, maybe 20 for those, maybe less. I don't know. And the next item was a score in my eyes. So it was these encrypted size large jogger pants. So they have the elastic waist with the tie, side pockets, and they have some distressing with a moto design. And they're elastic cup joggers. So these are like athleisure pants, athleisure, whatever, more active. And I like the color. And I looked up comps, can't remember what they were going for, but I'm hoping 2025, we'll just have to wait and see. And then, let's see what this is. Ooh, it's a sweater by Talbot's in a size medium. Talbot's Petite. Let me see what it's made out of. Oh, it doesn't have a... Oh yeah, it does. So it's just cotton and rayon, but it's this uh, cool print. I'm not even sure what to call this. It's pink and it kind of looks like animal print, but then it kind of looks like tie dye. So yeah, I don't know. Looks like it's three, four sleeves in excellent condition. And that cool print. It's like an ombre print too. 
really soft, so hopefully at least 25 for that. And I have another pair of jeans. All these jeans for a dollar. How can you go wrong? I wonder if these are the same now. Okay, so this is Gloria Vanderbilt Amanda in a size 8. And it looks like medium wash, dark wash, can't really tell. Straight leg. Excellent condition. And these look like they're a high rise. So hopefully I'll get around $20 for those. Those look awful long too. They might even be tall, which would be a bonus. Okay, and then I got another shacket, a shirt and a jacket. So this is Studio Works in a size medium, 100% cotton. And it is a lime green, button front, all over floral embroidered jacket. So it's got embroidery down the sleeves. It's got that cute little loop detail, rainbow loop on the cuffs. And then it's got more on the back. The last thing I sold like this surprised me when I sent it out to auction. So I may end up sending this one out to auction as well. But for a dollar, it is so cute, I couldn't leave that behind. Okay, then we got another pair of jeans. Let me put these jeans back in here. Sorry for the noise. Okay. These I thought were a score, but maybe not. So these are Lauren Ralph Lauren. Size 10. They're not vintage. They're on the green tag. These are medium wash jeans. Look like straight leg. In good condition. They're probably a mid-rise, I would guess. But I, don't, I very rarely find LRL jeans, so I wanted to pick them up and give them a try, and for a dollar, that enables me to do that. They may surprise me, but I don't know, probably around $20. <clears throat> then I got a pair of shorts, and these are PGA Tour size 34 golf shorts. And I love this blue and black checkered print. So they're lightweight. They got the pockets. Moisture wicking. Your perfect lightweight golf shorts. And hopefully those will bring around 20. And then I found another pair of shorts. These are Old Navy The Flirt. I forget what size these are. Here we go. 16. So they're in a good size. And they're a medium wash, high rise, with the fringe hem. I love the fringe hems. So hopefully these will go between 15 and 17, but I'll just have to see. And then I found a linen piece, and this is new with tags. Time and true. It's a size small, but it measures out to fit up to a medium. So it is a pretty blue floral print, linen blend tank top. And does it have vents? Probably not. Nope. In excellent condition. Sometimes when they're new with tags, they're not. So because it's time and true, maybe only $20, it's too bad it's not big enough to fit me because I would definitely keep that. Okay, next item I found were some pants. These are High Sierra in a size 10. And they are linen or linen blend. Yeah, they're linen blend. So they're lightweight, olive green, capris. Like hiking, hiking capris. So they have the pockets, tie waist, belt loops, and not much to say about hiking pants, but they're perfect for the season and they're lightweight. And with the multiple pockets, they're good for hiking. 
Okay, next item I found was a pullover. Don't ask me why I picked this up. Well, I know why I picked this up, because it's the North Face. So it's the North Face in a size small. And it is a long sleeve pullover, but it has this patch on the front. You dimmy or something. And I looked that up and I think it has something to do with scholars or something. I don't know. But anyway, it's branded something besides North Face. So I may have trouble selling it, if at all, and it may sit for a while. But for a dollar, yeah, I'm going to pick this up. So we'll see what that brings and how long it sets before it sells or if it even sells. And then the last dollar item I got was a score. So I picked this item up before. I haven't sold it. It's still in my store, but the one I picked up didn't have a size in it. So this is soft surroundings in a size extra large. And it is a tiered pearl edge, lightweight, linen skirt, linen full skirt, and they call this the summer fun skirt, and I could see why. You have a lot of fun in that. A lot of movement. Versatile. You could wear it over your bathing suit. So I think I have the other one listed at 30, which may be too high. I may have to lower it. So maybe 25. I don't know. Okay, let me put these items away, and then we're going to get into the discounted full price haul. Okay, so even though these items were discounted or full price, I averaged them out, and they all average out to be $4 or less. So the first item I picked up was Port & Company, size large. In Your Face, 50th Anniversary Woodstock tie-dye t-shirt. It's not vintage. It's a reprint, probably, reproduction, whatever. But it's an excellent condition. Excellent. So if I don't end up keeping this, I don't know. I'll have to look up comps, but I'm thinking this should go for some money. But like I said, the, the market could be oversaturated. I don't know. I haven't really looked it up. So, Okay, then I scored. So I found two new with tags, bling pocket jeans in a large size. So the first one is, the, 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 the. First one is boutique plus boot cut in a size 30W. Like I said, new with tags. So it's got all these gems, including a gem for the button right there. It's top stitched. Surprisingly, these are pretty lightweight and they're really stretchy. The only thing that weighs them down are the back pockets. So you have embroidered and embellished back pockets. And knew these were going for 69 so resale, I don't know, 30 35 You know, even though I love picking up uh, these larger sizes, I have trouble moving them. Do you guys have trouble moving the bigger sizes? Which is unusual because I would think they'd be hard to find. And when they do find them, they, you know, have to pay full price. I don't know. Okay, so these are, these are right next to them. Stitch Star. These are also a 30W. I won't be lotting these together because if I remember correctly, the end seams measured different. I think one of them is a tall. So this is another pair of embroidered, embellished. You know, they remind me of Miss Me. Soft and stretchy. These have the angel wings on the back pockets. So hopefully, 40? 50? I don't know. This one's heavily blinged out. And I think they're both boot cut, if I remember correctly as well. So, yeah. Hopefully those will bring some money. I don't know. I'm just so jazzed to find them in a bigger size. Then I find a hat. So this one's tailor-made. R15. So it's a golf hat in good condition. It says Aero Burner. Don't know anything about it. This isn't a large, extra large, so it's not adjustable. And hopefully that'll bring 15 or 20. Have to wait and see. 
And this next item, unfortunately, doesn't have a size or a fabric tag in it. But I measured it. It measures out to fit a large. And I can't figure out what this um, fabric is. It feels kind of like cotton canvas, which is what I want to put. But it is a hoodie from Disney Land. So it has Mickey on the front. It's in excellent condition, other than the, the tags aren't in it. Some stripes, some embroidery, the hood. Nothing on the back. And then it's got, so it must be the 55th anniversary because it has a, is that a 55? Yeah. Has a 55 mouse head on the hem. So hopefully, I don't know, 30 maybe? I have to look it up just because it's the anniversary piece. Time for coffee. Okay, next item I picked up. It's a tank top by Croft and Barrow in a size XXL. Looks like it's new without tags. So it has the crochet eyelet on the front and the front is lined. And the front is lined, so that's good. The back is burnout, so it's lightweight burnout cotton. And it's in a good size. So I don't know, maybe 17 to 20 for that. Then I found another tank top. This one's in a 3X. I've never heard of this brand. OSO Casuals. But I picked it up because of the size and the colors. It is bright in your face orange with hot pink trim. It's not lined, so the front lace part is see-through. This would be a good swim cover up too. If I remember correctly, it measured out to be tunic length. So burnout back in excellent condition. So hopefully 17 to 20 for that. And what is this? This looks like pants. So these, oh, I know why I picked these up. You guys remember Horny Toad? I forget what they're called now, but they changed their name. But back in the day, they were called Horny Toad. So these are Horny Toads in a size eight. And they are your lightweight capri pants. And you think, oh, they're just green. They have the pockets. They're lightweight. Yeah, no. So you turn around, they have snapback pockets and let me find it. This cool embroidery on the back of one of the legs. So yeah, I don't know what these will bring, maybe only $20, but I wanted to pick up Horny Toad because I know there's a following for that. And you guys aren't gonna believe this, this was my favorite piece. I found Lululemon, not only in the wild, which is my first time ever, but it was a men's piece. And I would have never looked at these except for this print. I pulled them out. And when I pulled them out, let me see. So when I pulled them out, luckily they were hanging so that I saw the Lululemon on the back. I'm like, oh, I have to have those. Don't care. So these are like checkered golf pants maybe. And my goodwill is writing the size in that in the band luckily i got that out but the size dot is missing i looked in every pocket and it's missing they had written 34 on the waistband and that's actually what they measure out to be so these are a size 34 and they're active golf shorts i forget now the name of them but i'm thinking these are going for like between 30 and 40 so i'm really jazzed about that can't believe I found them. And like I said, I wouldn't have even looked at them other than the cool print on them. So sometimes that pays off. Okay, next item I picked up because another YouTuber was saying it was a good brand. Melinda, if you're watching, I'm talking about you. So I, ha I, have, I had found a piece when she found, you know, was telling us about that. Don't have it listed yet. So these are some kind of high-end... Sports brand, I guess, active brand. So these are Royal Robins in a size 18. 
And I'm assuming these are hiking shorts because they have multiple pockets on the front and one of them has a zip pocket behind it. And then you also have all the pockets on the back. So yeah, with all these multiple pockets, they're probably hiking, biking shorts because you could put all your little snacks in them. And like I said, I haven't really looked these up yet, so I don't know what they're going for. Hopefully at least 20 bucks. I need another drink. I see toys in there. Okay, I have no, I have no clue about these. I just like the acid print jeans. So these are Trill Nation in a size 36. Never heard of it. Don't care. Love the acid wash. So these are men's. They have the moto details. They have heavy distressing in good condition. And hopefully, and there's a lot of stretch in these. Hopefully these will bring at least 20, 25. We'll have to wait and see. Another score that, at this one place. So I saw this hanging just like this in the, um, actually they had it in the dress section. No, it was back by the uh, sleepwear too. But anyway, I remember hearing about this brand a while back, but couldn't remember anything about it. So I ended up running comps, which I don't usually do in the store. So yes, I'm going to pick these up. I think these were 50 or above what the comp said. So these are monkey monkey. Perfect pajamas in a size extra large, I think. And mine have the movie night popcorn print. And they're new with all the packaging. So if I can flip these for $50 plus, yes, please. Good thing I ran comps. But like I said, I the name had... Sounded familiar to me, but I'm not used to paying up for something unless I know for sure. So then I found a bag full of action figures. I have no clue. I had to text my mailman the other day a picture of a hat. I think it was an NFL hat asking him which team it was because I had no clue. And then he tells me it's the Seattle Seahawks. So I text him back and I go, what's the bird? What is the bird of? Hello. <laughs> it's a Seahawk. I didn't know that. Oh my God. So embarrassing. Good thing my mailman has a good sense of humor and always willing to help out. He may even know something about this stuff. I don't know. So yeah, there's a bug in there. There's a bunch of, you know, I have no clue. I'm just going to get into, I got to go buy a magnifying glass first so I can see if any of those are worth anything. Okay. So, next item I found feels like linen. Yes, it is. So, this is Rachel Zoe in a size large. And it's a lightweight linen tie neck sleeveless top. It's kind of like an A line swing. Surprisingly, these were going for quite a bit of money on the real reel. I didn't find them anywhere else, but I'm thinking maybe 30, 35 for that, hopefully. That's a good score. This one, I don't know. This is Colleen. Now I've heard of this, but I can't remember. It's probably just a boutique brand. So it's Colleen in a size medium. I picked it up because of this print. It has this, is that, and it's not embroidered, it's graphic. So it has that cool medallion graphic print on the front. And it's got like patchwork sleeves and it's soft and stretchy knit. And I'll probably sit on this until fall, but that's okay. It was so pretty. It's like a magenta color. I just love that print. So, hope. so then I picked up what I think was a score because I can't really find out anything on it. But some of these ones with the snap cuffs are going for outrageous amounts. So this is We the Free in a size small. And it's your waffle thermal, but it has like a grunge look to it. So it has two different colors. And the reason I picked it up was because it has the snap cuff sleeves or the 
the snap cuffs. And supposedly these are more desirable, but I can't find out anything on this. So if any of you know what this, the name of this is, would you please let me know in the comments? I would so appreciate your help because I want you to list it, but I'm thinking it could go over a hundred dollars. So I need to find out more information on it. That was a good score. Okay. Next item I picked up. <laughs> this was a score week. Okay, so these are cool. I have never found cool in the wild. In a size six. And they're women's, I'm assuming hiking pants. Hiking cargo, maybe. And they have the roll-up cuffs, so you can make them into capris. And they feel like nylon. I know I found out the uh, style of these and everything, but of course I can't remember. But I'm hoping to get, I don't know, 30 to 40 for those. I can't remember now what they're, what the comps were, but I can't believe I found cool. Oh my God, that was so amazing. Okay, then I picked these up for my friend Patty. Shout out to Patty. Because she gave me a pair of these to sell for her. And they actually sold for $10, not on one platform, but two. So these are in a bigger size, so I'm hoping, you know, more for them. So these are Despicable Me 3 in a size 2X, and they are your unicorn minions. So they're minions riding a unicorn. Hers sold for 10, like I said, because I was just trying to get rid of them. So these are priced at 20 because of the size and the other ones went over so well. So hopefully I'll get $20 for those. I don't know, you'll have to watch my profit picks to see. Okay, next item I found, I found a bunch of thermals. So this is Sundance in a size extra small and it is your basic waffle thermal in a slate blue color, but it also has button cuffs. So I'm hoping 25 for that because of the name and the style. Oh. This is the gift bag that just keeps on giving. I found Ed Hardy. So I found Ed Hardy in a size medium. Swim trunks. So this one's the gambler. These are in excellent, excellent condition. Wish they weren't an extra large, but I'll take what I can get. So I don't know what I'm gonna price these at. Probably 40, 50, I don't know. Have to look at the comps. They found a pair of Capri jeans, it looks like. And these are Gloria Vanderbilt Amanda's in a size 14. But I picked them up because they have this pretty floral print on them. I don't usually pick up printed denim, but these were just amazing. They're so soft and so stretchy. And they have these cool little rivets on the cuffs with the hem vents. So I don't know, hopefully $20 for those, maybe 25. And then I found a dress. This is by Denim 24-7 in a size 32W, but I picked it up because it is just amazing. So it is like kind of lightweight peasant gauzy dress. Could actually be worn as a tunic. I think the length was 36 inches. So it has pretty embroidered, top stitch embroidery right here. And then all this beautiful floral lace that is sheer. So the sides have all that lace down them. The front is, it has a tie neck and it's heavily embroidered. It's in a good size. And like I said, it could be worn as a dress or a tunic. So I don't know, 35, 40 for that. <coughs> the last piece I picked up, call me crazy, I don't care. 
So these are big sports in a size large. Never heard of this either. But I picked them up because they are denim sweatpants. So they have your sweatpant material here and then your denim trim. They have a zip button fly pockets, your carpenter loop, and they're joggers so you could tie the hems. Heavyweight, good condition, good size. And I can't remember now what the comp said on these, but because they're so unique, I don't know, maybe $40. So they have the two uh, leg pockets too. I thought that was so cool. So these, I don't know if these are workout or work pants. I don't know, but they were just so cool. I couldn't leave them behind. So anyway, that's my haul for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing and I'll see you on the next one.